morning dear aspirant to start with today's news the global struggle for a pandemic treaty uh, so this comes under gs2 international relations after two years of political negotiation 194 who member states failed to finalize a historic pandemic agreement it is an international treaty designed to fortify glo global pandemic preparedness and implement mechanism for prevention of the same and reduce unconsciously inequities. So WHO was established in 1948 and which is a specialized agency of UN uh, that connects nation partners and people to promote health. The objectives of WHO are to lead global efforts and to expand universal health coverage. Focus on the areas of disease prevention, control and elimination. So it provides leadership on global health issue, set standards for public health and provide technical assistance and support to countries to collaborate with various partners. Uh, WHO currently has 194 member states. W, w, World Health Assembly which is the highest decision making body of WHO and comprises representative from all member states. Secretariat responsible for carrying out uh, the policies and programs approved by the WHO. Director General heads the WHO and is supported by a senior management team. And regional office, it has six regional offices, Africa, the America, Southeast Asia, Europe, Eastern Mediterranean and Western Pacific. WHO meets annually to set policies, approve the budget and elect the Director General. WHO gets its funding from two main sources. Uh, that is assessed contribution these are the dues countries pay in order to be the member of organization and voluntary contribution it is from uh, member state or from other partners like UNO intergovernmental organizations etc mm, long term capital gains this comes under GS3 economy uh, so finance minister uh, in its uh, union budget says that uh, um, for computing the long term capital gain tax has not drawn much uh, energy or enthusiasm so she proposed all financial and non-financial assets would now be taxed at 12.5% instead of a tired structure. So the term capital gain can be defined as profits accumulated from the sale of any capital assets. Examples of capital assets like land, buildings, house property, vehicles, patents, trademark, leasehold rights. This include, uh, includes having rights in or in relation to an Indian company. It also includes the rights of management, control or any other legal right. Depending on the duration, capital gains can either be short term or long term. Since profits are categorized as an income, they are, they are liable for taxation. Such taxes are levied when an asset is transferred between owners. This tax applies to both individuals and business as well. So there are two types of uh, 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 CGT, gain short term and long term. That is based on the duration. If it is less than 36 months, it is short term asset. If it is a capital gain tax, if it is more than 36 months, it is a long term capital gains tax. Uh, India uh, revenue rises uh, uh, financial year 25 growth forecast to 7.5 uh, uh, percentage. So India not revenue ratings upgraded India's financial year 25 GDP growth projection to 7.5 percentage. So GDP is defined as the total monetary or market value of all the financial finished goods and services produced within a country's border in a specific time period. It measures the value of total output in the economy by tracking the total demand. So that uh, GDP is consumption plus investment plus government plus net exports. Consumption is consumption demand from the private individual that is private final consumption expenditure. Investment is um, the private sector business the demand generated by from private sector business. Government is third engine is the demand for goods and services generated by the government and is known as the government final consumption expenditure. Net export is calculated by subtracting Indian imports from the Indian uh, uh, exports.
ओके नॉमिनल जीडीपी वर्सेस रियल जीडीपी नॉमिनल जीडीपी इज द एक्चुअल अब्जर्व वेरिएबल रियल जीडीपी इज एक्चुअली नॉमिनल जीडीपी माइनस इन्फ्लेशन रेट इन्फ्लेशन इज समथिंग वेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंसी वैल्यू मींस इट इज वैल्यूड बेस्ड ऑन द डॉलर सी फॉर एग्जांपल वन रुपी इक्वल टू हाउ मच डॉलर दैट इज कॉल्ड वैल्यू ऑफ द करेंसी ओके थैंक यू हैव अ ग्रेट डे